guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaden Irwin, and today, today we're going to be going through part three of the 11 d Crash Course. So if you haven't caught up quite yet, you might want to go watch the last two parts of it. But just to recap real quick, we've covered a lot of the basic things like setting up um, pages and setting up layouts for each page. And then recently we, we just covered how to use CSS on a specific layout or on a specific page. Right, so if you go to your contact page, it's using a contact layout, and then the contact layout has some of its own specific um, pieces, and that includes CSS. Um, it also, inside this head block, we can put whatever we want to inside of that head block of the contact page through this layout. So that's really what we've covered in the past. Um, this next piece, we're actually going to be covering components. So this is actually um, a question that comes up a lot with 11 d is how do I set up components? And this would be one of a few different ways that you could do it. Um, but this is the one after trying a few different ways, uh, this is my favorite. Um, so let's just go ahead and hop into it. Um, I will be installing this package called Common Tags. If you want to learn more about it, you can definitely go on NPM and just search common-tags. Um, it's fairly popular. You know, only 14 million weekly downloads, <laughs> so um, pretty popular. And it just includes some helpful pre, like predefined functions. The template literal tag functions is what they're describing them as. Um, and the main one that we're going to be using is just this HTML function. So we can easily have template literals and do some HTML type things inside of that template literal. So, and it's probably easiest to just show you how that works. So. Let's go ahead and install it real quick. Luckily, it's not too large of a package. It should be pretty quick. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go into our includes folder. And then inside of our includes folder, we're going to create another folder called components. And let me just go ahead and collapse some things real quick. We're going to create a new file called card.js. And that's really how this whole setup works is these components, they actually are JavaScript functions, and then they take in properties very similar to a React concept, where you can take in properties functionally and then create a or output an HTML component um, with whatever you kind of passed into it. So let's go ahead and import that HTML. And this is a common JS import, it's not a ES6 import or an ESM import. So we're going to do require common tags, just like that. And then this is going to be a function called card. And let's just go ahead and set up our function just like that. So it's going to take in a couple of things. So it's going to take in a, and I'm going to escape copilot there real quick. So it's going to take in a, let's see, a title, um, a link link text and and then also a uh, boolean of raised and I'll show you why we're doing that um, here in a second but let's do return HTML so that is from common tags return HTML and that's just before you do the template literals so in a normal JavaScript context I'm just gonna turn off copilot real quick in a normal JavaScript context um, you just would have return and then your back ticks, right? So common tags, what it does is right in front of those back ticks, it has a function for HTML. And if you go back and look at their example, it looks exactly the same, right? It's just, they're doing an import at the top. We're doing a uh, common JS import at the top. So let's go ahead here. We're going to do a div and inside of that, we're going to do an H2 and let's do class of card underscore container. We're going to do a class on this title of card underscore underscore title. And if you want to learn more about why I name my classes this way, just look up BEM, B-E-M, um, class naming. And this is sort of, I sort of do my own version of BIM. Um, not, I'm not too stuck on keeping it uh, really strict, but maybe I should be more strict about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's BIM styling there. So we'll do an A tag and let's do href equals. We'll just kind of close this stuff up real quick. 
And then this is where the template literal stuff comes in. So we want to pass in link text into the text of this link tag, right? And let's add a class real quick to that too of card underscore link just in case we need it. I don't think I set up CSS for that though. Um, and then the title is going to be title, right? So our card container and then raised. So I'll come back to the raised one. Um, it sh we might even just leave that off for now. And then our href, we're going to pass that in as link. So you'll see that we're taking in these properties of title, link, and link text, and then we're using them, right? So we have an h2, passing in the title of the h2, and then link href on the anchor tag, or the href, and then link text, right? And that is the text of that. Now our card, we're still not exporting yet, so we want this module dot exports equals card, just like that. So we have a function of card. It takes in an object that has some properties on it, and then we just pass those properties down in. So you might be wondering, okay, cool, I'm kind of used to this sort of context maybe, um, but how do I use it with 11D? So it's actually really easy. If you go into your .11d.js file, we're going to go to the top and we'll do const card equals require. And then we're going to go into the source, go to includes, go to components, go to card, and we've got our card imported. Now to use it, we're just going to go to another line, 11 config dot add short code. We'll do some quotes here, and we're going to call it card, just capitalized, just like that. And then we're going to use the function. So the the short code, this is something that Eleventy has, um, and Nunjux has built in. Um, if you want to learn more about it, I will le leave a link in the description below. You can take a look at it. But Eleventy sort of describes these short codes as ways to um, sort of reuse bits of content and that's that's the way that they describe it but in a sense that's a component right so I can create a function and have that function take in properties and then create HTML from that function that's really what's happening here um, we're just doing it in a slightly different way so I don't have to put my short code inside of my dot 11 dot JS because you can imagine if you have 20 components for a site that could get pretty messy inside of your .11d file. So this is a way of doing that and doing that card component um, over here in our components. So really cool to kind of strip it out and, and set it up the way that we want to. And that's all possible with 11d. So we've got our short code, we've got a card short code, and then it is passing in a function, right? And then we still need to use it. So. Now that we've all got all of that set up, let's go ahead and start our server. And then we're gonna go to our index and let's go ahead and just use it. So if you look back at their uh, examples here, this is how you would use a short code in Nunjux. And so you'll have our uh, curly bracket and then percentage sign on both sides and the name of the short code and then you can pass in your parameters. So we're gonna do just that. We called it card. It takes in a title. It takes in a link. It takes in link text. So let's go ahead and do equals on those. Equals, hello, something like that. Link equals, let's just go to the contact page. That's just our href, right? And then we'll do link text go to contact and then that should be running on a local host see if I can grab the link real quick there you go we've got our little card it might not look like a card um, we can go ahead and inspect it real quick too but yeah we've got our card container card title and card link right there and it's passing in our text passing in our link, everything, right? So that's our component working right there. And you can imagine that, oh, this is just JavaScript. So I can put logic inside of this 
and that's where that raised one comes in. So let's go ahead and do that one. We're going to do raised. And let's go ahead and wrap that in curly brackets. Turn it into a template literal. We're going to do raised. And that is going to be ternary, right? So if it's raised, we want to do card. And I know I'm, <laughs> I cheated a little bit. I set up some of these classes ahead of time because I didn't want you to watch me writing CSS when we're talking about components. <laughs> but so we have card container and then card container. I set up a raised version of the card container. So if it's raised, if that gets passed down into this function, right? We have card container. If it's raised, it's going to add this class of card container raised. If you want to look at the CSS too, it's it's nothing magical. It's just over here in CSS, components, card.css, and then we've got our raised class right there. So one thing I want to mention is that these components, at least with the way 11D works right now, from what I understand, it sort of caches this function and what's happening inside of it. So unless we kill the server, it is not going to recognize that change. So I already killed it, and then we'll rerun it. And now if I go back here, raised is not being passed into this right now, so it's not that raised class doesn't have it on it. But if we go to our um, homepage, right, where we're using this card, let's go ahead and create another one. So we'll just copy that line, create another one. And let's do raised equals true on the next one. Just like that. So, um, and I can kind of prove that too. If we go back here, we'll just cut that out real quick. Um, if you see, it's if we rip that out to, I don't believe, yeah, so it's still like it's cached the version of it that has it. Um, I wish I would have shown it to you before, but that's just one kind of gotcha that I want to point out. You'll want to keep in mind if you make a change to your component, um, like this function, you might drive yourself crazy trying to figure out why it's not showing the latest change that you made. Like let's say we want to change, that's probably a better way to do this, card container um, 2. That should break the card by doing that. And if you look at our inspect, it's still working just fine, right? Um, 11 e even refreshes and kind of acts like it sees that change, but it doesn't really. <laughs> um, so just keep that in mind. All you have to do, if you make a change to your component, all you have to do is just kill your server real quick and rerun it. That's it. Um, and it'll work great. So that's one thing that I've run into. Kind of drove me nuts, to be honest at first, but then I started to figure out what was going on and super easy fix. Just kill the server real quick and rerun it and 11 will go grab the latest version of that card component or whatever your component is. Um, hopefully that's fixed soon. I do believe 11 is going to be switching to a new dev server here soon, so that might actually fix it. Um, but I might even link the issue below if you want to put a plus one on that issue. Um, it sounds like it's just kind of like a caching thing that goes on with 11D, but it's really not that big of a deal to me. Hopefully it's not to you. I have found being able to work with just vanilla functions that are just JavaScript outputting HTML, I found it really fun to work with, um, and hopefully you guys do too. So that's really all I have on this one, just kind of showing you how these components work. In the future though, we're actually going to take this component model and then start doing a little bit more logic inside of them. Like maybe we want it to go and fetch some information asynchronously and then um, output some HTML from the function. So uh, stay tuned for that. That is upcoming on the next uh, part. So hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm happy to help as best I can. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.